Hey everyone, it's name of FHD official from Medicam, and welcome back to the channel. We're all about empowering you to take control of your health, and knowledge is a huge part of that. Today, we're diving deep into the world of bacteria with a closer look at 10 types of staph infections. Staphylococcus, or staph, are bacteria that commonly live on our skin and don't always cause harm. However, if they enter the body through a cut or other means, they can cause a range of infections. Some are as mild as a pimple, while others can be life-threatening. We'll break down each type, discussing symptoms, how they spread, and what you need to know. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss out on future health topics. Let's get informed. Let's start with the most common type of staph infection, skin infections. Staph bacteria are often the culprit behind boils, impetigo, and cellulitis. Boils start as red, tender bumps that fill with pus. Impetigo shows up as sores around the nose and mouth. Cellulitis causes redness, swelling, and pain. Many of these infections can be treated effectively with antibiotics. Abscesses are painful, pus-filled pockets that often require drainage. Staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome affects newborns and young children. Prompt treatment usually leads to a full recovery. If you notice unusual skin changes, reach out to your doctor. Next up, let's talk about staph infections that can really put a damper on your next meal food poisoning. Staph bacteria can produce toxins in food, and if you ingest these toxins, you're in for a rough ride. Imagine this, you're enjoying a delicious meal, and a few hours later, you're hit with intense nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. That's the unfortunate reality of staph food poisoning. It's often caused by improper food handling or storage, allowing the bacteria to multiply and produce toxins. Symptoms usually develop within 30 minutes to 8 hours after eating contaminated food. While most cases resolve on their own within 24 to 48 hours, it's essential to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. In severe cases, you might need medical attention to address dehydration. Remember, prevention is key. Always practice good food safety habits like washing your hands thoroughly, cooking food to the proper temperature, and refrigerating leftovers promptly. Let's discuss septicemia, a serious bloodstream infection. This occurs when staph bacteria enter the bloodstream. Septicemia is life-threatening and needs immediate medical attention. It can result from untreated infections like skin infections or pneumonia. Symptoms include high fever, chills, rapid heart rate, and confusion. Severe cases can lead to septic shock, a dangerous drop in blood pressure. Treatment involves IV antibiotics and supportive care. If you experience severe symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. Chapter 4. Let's move on to a rare but potentially life-threatening condition caused by staph toxins, toxic shock syndrome, or TSS. While it's often associated with tampon use, it can also occur with other types of infections, like skin infections or after surgery. TSS is like the body's alarm bells going off in a major way. It's characterized by a sudden high fever, often above 102 degrees Fahrenheit, along with low blood pressure, a rash that looks like a sunburn and confusion. Other symptoms can include vomiting, diarrhea, muscle aches, and even organ failure in severe cases. It's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you suspect TSS, as early diagnosis and treatment are vital. Treatment typically involves antibiotics and supportive care to manage symptoms and prevent complications. Remember, TSS is a serious condition, but with prompt medical attention, most people make a full recovery. Chapter 5. Now, let's talk about staph infections that can wreak havoc on your respiratory system, starting with pneumonia. Staph bacteria can infect the lungs, leading to inflammation and fluid buildup. Imagine this. You have a persistent cough, fever, chills, and you're struggling to catch your breath. Those are some of the telltale signs of pneumonia. Staph pneumonia can be especially dangerous for people with weakened immune systems, the elderly, and those with chronic lung conditions. Treatment typically involves antibiotics, but in severe cases, hospitalization might be necessary for oxygen therapy and other supportive care. Prevention is key when it comes to pneumonia, so make sure you're up to date on your vaccinations, including the pneumococcal vaccine. Remember, if you experience any persistent respiratory symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a world of difference. 
Chapter 6. Next up, we're diving into the heart of the matter, literally, with endocarditis. This serious infection affects the inner lining of the heart chambers and valves, and staph bacteria are often the culprits. Imagine this, you have a fever that just won't quit, you're feeling unusually tired, and you notice a new or changing heart murmur. These are some of the red flags of endocarditis. It's more common in people with pre-existing heart conditions or weakened immune systems. Endocarditis is a serious condition that requires prompt medical attention. Treatment typically involves intravenous antibiotics, often for several weeks, and in some cases, surgery might be necessary to repair or replace damaged heart valves. Prevention is crucial, especially if you have a history of heart problems. Talk to your doctor about steps you can take to reduce your risk, such as taking antibiotics before certain dental or medical procedures. Let's move on to a condition that can really shake you to your core, osteomyelitis. This is an infection of the bone, and yes, it's as painful as it sounds. Staph bacteria can reach the bone through the bloodstream or from a nearby infection, like a skin infection. Imagine this, you have persistent bone pain, swelling, and tenderness over the affected area, along with fever and chills. Those are some of the telltale signs of osteomyelitis. Treatment typically involves a combination of intravenous antibiotics, often for several weeks, and sometimes surgery to drain the infection or remove damaged bone. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial to prevent complications, such as bone damage or the spread of infection. Remember, if you experience any persistent bone pain, especially after an injury or infection, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. Now let's talk about a condition that can really put a damper on your mobility septic arthritis. This is an infection of a joint, and staph bacteria are often the culprits. It can occur if bacteria enter the joint through an injury, surgery, or from a nearby infection. Imagine this. You have sudden, intense joint pain, swelling, redness, and warmth around the affected joint, along with fever and chills. Those are some of the classic signs of septic arthritis. Septic arthritis is a serious condition that requires prompt medical attention. Treatment typically involves draining the infected joint fluid and intravenous antibiotics, often for several weeks. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial to prevent joint damage and other complications. Remember, if you experience sudden, severe joint pain, especially after an injury or infection, don't try to tough it out. Seek immediate medical attention. Let's move on to a condition that can be incredibly uncomfortable and disruptive urinary tract infections, or UTIs. While E. coli is often the culprit, staph bacteria can also cause these infections. Imagine this, you have a persistent urge to urinate, but only a small amount comes out and it burns like crazy. You might also experience pain or pressure in your lower abdomen and cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Those are some of the telltale signs of a UTI. Staph UTIs are more common in people with indwelling catheters or underlying health conditions. Treatment typically involves antibiotics, and drinking plenty of fluids is essential to flush out the bacteria. Remember, if you experience any UTI symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent complications, such as kidney infections. Finally, let's discuss a rare but potentially life-threatening condition, meningitis. This is an infection of the membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord, and staph bacteria can be one of the causes. Imagine this, you have a severe headache, high fever, stiff neck, and you're extremely sensitive to light. You might also experience nausea, vomiting, and confusion. These are some of the alarming signs of meningitis. Staph meningitis is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention. Treatment typically involves intravenous antibiotics and supportive care in a hospital setting. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial to prevent complications such as brain damage or hearing loss. Remember, if you or someone you know experiences any of the symptoms of meningitis, don't hesitate to seek immediate medical attention. That was a lot of information, but I hope you found it helpful. As you can see, staph infections can range from mild skin irritations to life-threatening conditions. The key takeaway is that early diagnosis and treatment are crucial for a positive outcome. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to your health. By understanding the different types of staph infections, their symptoms, and how to prevent them, you're better equipped to take charge of your well-being.
If you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative videos.